Um, let's get started with the draft though. Um, we had a ban on Abathur by my insanity. I too hard on their part uh, chose to ban Tassadar. Um, then the first pick went to I too hard with Tychus. Um, then we had uh, e, uh, no, never mind. Uh, my insanity went with Tychus. We had I too hard picking uh, Felstad and Tyrael. Then the next two picks were Ufer and Illidan. And we have Arphis and Nova for Eye to Heart. And the final picks for my insanity were Shen and Vala. And the final pick for Eye to Heart is Brightwing. So, um, let me think about these compositions. Uh, I. <laughs> I think they work out quite well. Um,. I wouldn't give it to anyone just yet. Um, I mean, my Insanity's composition is a little bit squishier, um, since they have three assassins, three outright assassins in there, um, and um, I to heart a little bit more, a little bit more on the sustainy side. Um, and of course, you have Nova, which is pretty much the most hated, uh, hated uh, solo queue hero right now. And, I don't know, for my insanity, I'm not too sure how Shen works into their composition. Because you, um, I mean, I guess he does give the team a little bit more sustainability. Um, so uh, Uther and Shen pretty much have to uh, keep, uh, keep the team alive somehow, and just shield the rest, and they have some... Well, they need to they need to get some really good initial assaults in and and uh, reduce the size of I to heart. Otherwise, they might go. Um, yeah, they might be in trouble. All right, so I think uh, these teams are about ready. And let's have a look at their lineup. So Ace of Spades is playing Ufer. Then um, we have Aragi. Uh, Araragi on Vala. Uh, Shinobo is playing Tychus. Um, X6 Secret is playing Illidan. And uh, on the other side we have Arkham on Brightwing. Green on Arthas. Konus on Tyrael. Noisen on Vala. And Grimscale on Falstad. All right, um, so I think Green is taking a quick bio break, and then we should get we should be ready. Ah, by the way, the map is Cursed Hollow, and this match is actually pretty important since I to Heart can still advance into the playoffs if they win this match. Um, if they lose it, then it's gonna be Mouse Sports that advances to the playoffs. Um, I think purely due to their uh, oh never mind. Um, yeah, purely to their head-to-head -head comparison, because uh, Mousebots won versus I to Hard. Um, and that's okay. <laughs> Never mind. I think they're ready. I think they're pretty much ready. Um. Yes, so let's have a look at the... Um, nope, that's not the one. Give me a sec. Let's have a look at the current rankings. Unfortunately, it doesn't show the actual... Um, unfortunately, it doesn't show the actual play-by-play um, -play history. So we won't have match history here. But we nevertheless do get uh, the ranks. So SK Gaming is in rank 1, then we have Mind Sanity uh, second place. In third place we have Playing with Pain is Pain, and in fourth position Eye to Heart, followed by Mouse Sports. So the remainder of these teams are already out, um, nothing to do about that. But Mouse Sports and Eye to Heart actually, um, yeah, I think they're pretty much uh, really tense, really tense right now. Um, especially Eye to Heart. <laughs> um, so just uh, just a deciding match for these guys and mouse sports 
pretty much on the on the edge of their seats as well. If my insanity wins this, by the way, then uh, they would move into um, the first spot and, of course, get the top seed. Which I think means... Uh, I don't know if we have a sheet for that, but... Um, there were some things going on with uh, with the seeding in NA. I don't know how the seeding in EU works. Mm. Nope, I don't have any information on that, but... It will probably get posted pretty soon. And there we go. Uh, yes, Nui, this is the regular regular season. We're just doing a rescheduled match. Um, a pretty important rescheduled match for that. And we're just loading into the map. So let's get started here. Uh, missing one thing. There we go. That uh, works. I should probably tweet about this, shouldn't I? Mm. Ah, never mind. Match is starting. We'll do it later. All right. So, on the left side here, on Cursed Hollow, we have our blue team, My Insanity, and they have Ufer, Vala, both in the middle lane. We have Tychus in there, Chan is part of the team as well, and, where's the last one, Illidan, hiding here next to Shinobo. And their opponents, in the red, on the right side here, we have High to Heart, and they have Arthas, Feldstad, Nova, and in the mid lane, Tyrael. In the bot lane, we have Brightwing. And she's going to capture the tower right away. Uh, Cow Capture also coming in here for my insanity. Oh, Nova hiding the hologram. There. Oh, never mind. Yes, it was. Yes, it was the holog hologram. Alright, so let's check out the lane, uh, lane distributions here. Looks like Tyrael is going to stay mid. Then uh, we have a little bit of a gang squad, Tychus and Illidan, for my insanity. But it looks like Tyrael is just staying back and playing this very safely. Uh, yeah, he's just staying behind the mobs. Should be in a good position. And in the bot lane, we have Nova, Felstad, and Ufer and Arthas. Arthas still waiting, and <laughs> Nova waiting as well in the bushes. But uh, that pretty much gave it away now. But Ace of Spades in a little bit of trouble. There comes the stun. Nice stun coming in. Uh, but even with Nova uh, using her hologram, not really worth it. And Arthas took a lot of damage in that exchange. Ooh, Secrets moving in. Nova a little bit out of position. Nice body blocking and a nice stun back by Tychus. And they take her out. First blood going for my insanity. Good job here on the on the initial kill. And a good job by Secret just blocking um, blocking her pathing. And that actually prompts them to go straight for the easy camp here uh, in the top lane. We might we have uh, Tyrael, Arthas and Nova just pressuring the mid, but uh, I think Aragi can take this. Uh, Nova is actually returning. Let's see if she can get a good shot off. Uh, doesn't look like it. But. There's another capture going on. Ooh, hard camp already being captured here by Green and Konus. Green's taking a lot of damage. He needs to get out of that fight. But they do have the two warriors. That means it's just gonna take a long time, but they can do it eventually, and we'll just heal up eventually. And Tychus and Illidan trying to look for the gank here, but I don't think they can capture it. Nope, there's a capture. For eye to heart. Oh, green solo though! Wow! That's the trouble you run into if you uh, do decide to take that night camp so early on. Do get pretty low, and uh, yeah, he was just caught out of position, and Shinobo, uh, secret by the way, uh, just uh, capitalizing on that. And we have the first tribute spawning. Uh, Shen is already in position. Started channeling. He's almost halfway done. We have no one here yet. Arthas is moving in. Ooh, and the disrupt in the last second. Good job by Konus. 
And it's secret. Tychus and Freeze. Got Fred's coming in. Starting again on the Shadowling. There was a little bit of trouble, but now Brightwing's here. And they take out Illidan. Tychus a little bit of trouble as well. Ooh. Can he get away? Nope, not with the stun out of Arthas. And Fred's moving in. A little bit too late though. I mean, two of his heroes have gone down. And that's three for zero. And I to Heart will get the capture here and thereby grab the first tribute. But first tribute, of course, not quite as important as the next ones. The next ones are, are the ones that really force the team fights. Now we have Green again going for the easy cam. Meanwhile, the knights in the mid lane didn't do all that much damage. Um, we're stopped by Aragi. But a little bit low on the ammo on these towers. So well, we do have some downtime. Uh, let's check out the talents. Um, first aid, repeating arrow, pressure point, cost of healing. So a lot of sustain um, coming in for I to Heart, and the next tribute is spawning. Oh, green again, and a lot of trouble caught here between all of these guys. And he can stay alive, but Secret's pretty low as well, and he is taken out. Brightwing, can can she keep everyone alive? No, she's gonna fall herself, but the remainder of I2R did move in, so Freds is in trouble now. Shinobu also pretty low, but they can't seem to focus down on him, and Nova falls, and with that, Konus is in trouble as well. He's gonna go down, and couldn't take anyone out with him. So that's a good team fight for, I2, uh, for my insanity. And they will grab those knights. A little bit of disarray going on here uh, on Hydro Heart's part, and it goes to show in the levels. My insanity actually um, almost uh, three quarters of a level ahead. Ooh, but they move in again, and Fred's caught a little bit out of position. But Brightwing goes down, and Arthas again taken out. They need to take these team fights with the entire team now. It's almost level ten for my insanity, so I think they're gonna stay back for a little bit. And boss is being taken here for my insanity. Meanwhile, uh, nothing really going on for I to Heart. They still need to sit back. Arthas just respawned. Brightwing just respawned. And the boss will fall. And yeah, Nova and Brightwing already moving down to the bot lane. They will take care of this and uh, will defend it. But I think they might need some additional help. Let's see how all this works out, since this tri second tribute did appear just now, and it's in a pretty good position for my insanity. Oh, danger goes, these are not the playoffs yet. Um, this, is, this is just a rescheduled match uh, for EU. The playoffs will start tomorrow night, and I think our admins will probably tell you when exactly. Or oh, green, already in the fight there, but this tribute did go to my insanity, so they should get out now. Oh, the ultimate is popped for Uther and Vala, and a pretty good hit going off. Fred's trying to trap Green, but Tyrell goes down initially, and will Green get away? Tyrell trying to save him. Nope, he still goes down in the end. But Brightwing and Felsa did get away. And now they're gonna put the pressure on here in the top lane. I think Nova's still dealing with the boss in the bot lane, so that's the perfect timing to do the split push here. And only Brightwing and Felsa to stop this. Not exactly the composition you want. Uh, to stop the entire team of my insanity, and they're two levels ahead now. So the top four will fall. Let's check out how Nova is doing in the bot lane. Uh, the tower, or the fort rather, lost a couple of uh, bullets, but uh, still going strong. And Nova will ally with her team again, and they're going for the boss now. Meanwhile, we have the easy camp being taken by my insanity. But nice timing on the boss, uh, they do need to capture that last tribute though. Uh, it's up, it's, they're in a pretty good position to take it, Nova also rejoined with her team. Uh, they need to get in a nice concave, Fred's already getting in there from the bottom. But, disrupt should go off and there it goes down. Arthas being disrupted, ooh, Tyrael, a little bit of trouble, but they try to get right to Brightwing. Oh, Secret is focused out though, went a little bit too far, overextending himself. And green pretty low, there comes the... Ooh, nice! Nice job here by Grimskull, taking... Um, taking... Uh, Illidan, uh, no, uh, Tychus out in that engagement. And Aragi also falling here, Nova is pretty low though. 
So, two for three right now. Cone is also pretty low. Fred tries to get him, but fouls that with the stun. Ooh. I think they can keep this under control now, but they need to get back there. They need to save this tribute. But it doesn't look like it's going to happen. They were too low with Tyrael being so low and Nova out of the game. But it doesn't look like... Ooh, Mind Sandy actually not going for the tribute. They thought they wanted to... Um, they wanted to play it safe and not go for the tribute either way, but ooh, Secret is moving in. Grimskull in a little bit of trouble. Here comes the stun and Secret again trying to stop Grimskull. Then he pops ultimate and yeah, focuses him down. Fred's also pretty low with Noisen coming in. I think they can take him out. There's a precision strike not really landing uh, the best hit here. And Secret again a little bit out of position. If they focus him down, nope, Nova goes down and Tyrael also stunned here. Green pretty low as well. He's taken out. And this might be a team wipe if he can't get away. Nope, he does. So good team fight, good comeback fight for my insanity. And they will also steal the knights. Which is a pretty impeccable timing for them. Uh, going straight for the knights after getting that um, after getting the tribute. The knights are just gonna do that much more damage. And we will see a little bit of a split push, I would assume, but no, Uke and Shan both moving towards the middle of the lane. Uh, top is already gone, bottom is being pressured by the minions right now. And I to Heart moving in, trying to defend this fort somehow. Oh, green card of that position, there's the ultimate out of Valor, doing a lot of damage, Secret's taken him out. And this fort will most likely fall. Grimm's got also in a little, little bit of trouble. Nova trying to save it, but ah, the precision strike just lands a little bit too late, and the fort does go down. Oh, is cut out of position, and wow, with the stun and Fred's coming in, he has no chance of staying alive. So again, three for zero, amazing team fight for my insane. At the end, it two levels ahead. It might even take up this keep while the tribute, uh, while the curse is still up. Two more seconds. Uh, no, but they do sufficient damage here. And with three teammates gone, I don't think I to Heart can actually defend this keep. Nope, there it goes down. And an excellent position for my insanity. Now they will we'll try to go for this bottom fort as well. I don't know if that's the wisest choice, but... Tyrell was still down, so they could try to go for it. And it's pretty low. Yeah, they take it out. Luckily, Brightwing did get out of there before uh, they actually moved into position. Now is a perfect time for them to take the boss as well. Um, Eye to Heart will try to contest it. They're already moving in. But I think they will try to get them on their way back. Ooh, there comes the stun on Ace of Spades. He's actually caught up the position. And the Shock and Awe comes in. He's taken out. Secret jumps back in there, but he's pulling him off the right, right away, and his ultimate is popped. Fred's pretty low, he goes down, and Secret's still trying to get on top of Noise, and she will probably go down. Oh, Secret's caught in there, but Brightwing does fall, and Nova's also falling. So my insanity making the best uh, out of the situation, only losing Ufra and Shen, but still managing to take out the remainder of the team. Only Fels that did get away here. So an excellent engagement out of them. And now they're gonna put on the pressure just one more time. Oh, felt that actually going down there. That shouldn't have happened. Now the Nexus is actually in a lot of trouble. Secret Shinobu and Aragi are there. But uh, Aragi is pretty low, so uh, he, he does need to watch out. Nexus, uh, Okor, actually losing a lot of health though. Down to 30%, but Vala goes down. Shinobu also pretty low. I don't think he can get away here. Nope, they take him out as well. And. That will probably get them up to level 17, yeah. Only one more level difference here, but still, they lost all three forts, they lost the keep. Not exactly the position they want to be in, but maybe if they get another team flight, or, well, <laughs> maybe if they get another cleanup like this, they can make something happen. I'm gonna go for the knight steal here, but, ooh, actually, Uther caught a little bit out of position. He might be in trouble, they're moving in, stun comes out by Konus. But barely missing him, there comes the ultimate, and can he body block him? Yes, he can. Ryan Sandy getting a little over eager here. I don't know what exactly he was going for anyways. I think he tried to stop the Seed Shines, but 
Um, why go so far out of your position? And now they will get the bottom fort. And, well, finally get one fort. Giving a little bit of an X XP boost here. So they should be able to catch up pretty soon. Almost level 18 as well. And can they get the Steel Knights? This is pretty risky right there for my two heart. And we already see Mind Sanity moving into position, but it looks like they're gonna let this one go. Yep, Knights will march on the mid lane. And I to Heart going for their own boss now. In the meantime, the easy camp has been captured. And they're marching towards the top lane. But I think so far I to Heart should be able to stop them. They still have the keep up and everything. So no catapults coming in, and Arthas is moving into position to deal with these sea giants. But they never managed to actually go for their own boss, just capturing the knights. Uh, they will get those without any issues, but my insanity, they're just now moving in. They might get the steal here, Fred's already in position, there comes the stun on Grimskull. Can he get away? Oh, an amazing shock and awe, taking out Ufer. Oh, the ultimate coming out of Valor. Take out Felstad, but Vela's also taken out Green, moving on top of everyone there. Fred's uh, caught in the between all of these guys, but it, now it's only Green. The team has abandoned him. There comes the heal, but can it keep him alive? Rightwing doing a good job healing him better up. Oh, the ultimate is over. There comes the Polymorph. Fred's goes down, and it's only Shinobu left here. And I think they might be able to take him out. I don't think he um, he can run away from this one. Bonus, can you go for the kill? The gates are gone. The fort is still up. Here comes the stun, and green is pretty low. He shouldn't overextend here. I think Shinobu does get away, but they will have an easy time going for the tribute now. Yeah, they're just gonna grab the tribute. Still, my insanity is down for another 10 seconds at least on Ufer, uh, about 20 seconds on Illidan, so easy time for them going for that tribute and having the possibility of evening things out. They're going for the boss now, which is not the perfect timing since it's gonna take a while to get to the lane, uh, do some damage, but I think the top fort is gonna fall um, anyhow, and then they can concentrate on the middle fort and try to get that one down. Uh, stream is down, it shouldn't. It should be up. Mm. I don't know, it's up for me. Hopefully it worked out. Um, Alternator is not playing. They're playing the air on tonight in the Arcana Cup. Uh, I'll just tr continue commentating. I hope that everything uh, works itself out. The stream is still up for me, um, so I don't know what's happening here. Okay, so the curse is going on, but I think I too hard gave a little bit um, away here, uh, not really using it to their full advantage. This, the boss is still in the top lane doing damage, it took out the fort, but um, they kind of missed their chance on the mid lane, but instead going for the steal on the boss on the bot lane, that's actually a nice idea from them. Let's see if they can make it work. Remember they did take out the fort in the bot lane, and now with the siege giants and the boss and the entire team pulling this through, that's actually a lot of damage that's coming in here. See if they can capitalize on it. Ooh, the ammo's already gone on the towers. So they can easily deal with those guys. But a nice concave already uh, for my insanity. They don't have the long range stun though. And you don't want Secret popping his ult right away. So they're gonna have to take the boss out uh, from a distance. But remember, Seed Strands are still in there. Tyke is the only one doing damage on them right now. And the boss doing some decent damage here on the fort. And uh, on the keep. And he will take it out. And now this should be the signal here for I to Heart to make a move and try to get in there. But I think they're they're waiting on my insanity to make a mistake. They want one of those guys to overextend, which doesn't look like it's going to happen. Instead, they're trying to get away. And maybe lure him in the trap. She knows was a little bit out of position. But Shen's coming in from the top. Maybe they can get him. There he is, moving in. 
Going straight for Brightwing, but she gets away and I to doesn't want to take that fight. We're going teleporting to Felstead, so she's going to be fine. There's a turnaround. Oh, Secret moves in, but he's so low and he's taken out. Couldn't pop his ultimate in time. And now we have Arthas and Tyrael back in the fight. Shinobo actually a little bit out of position again. Fred's also caught out of the position. And there goes the stun. He's taken out as well. Eye to heart making the best out of this and turning this uh, game around. They're a level ahead now, but their core is still pretty low. So they need to watch out for those backdoor attempts. Uh, right now, I don't think my insanity is going to go for it. But um, there's always that danger. Uh, we will see the steal here on the hard camp. But let's check out their level 20 talents. We have Resurgence on Ufer and also on Shen. That's really vital for my insanity. But uh, Arthas and Tyrael also going for Resurgence. Precision Barrage for Nova and Storm Shield for Brightwing. That's interesting. Um, I don't think I've ever seen that in a pro game. Ooh, my insanity. Do they really want to go for this backdoor attempt right now? Mm. Maybe they want to get a surprise attack up going here uh, on the knights. Nope, going straight for the core. Let's see if they can do it. Felstead is moving back. They're dishing out a lot of damage. But the core still has shields up. Now it's taking a lot of damage. And they will take it out. Always that danger of the backdoor attempt. Wow, and uh, I too hard not quite moving back in time. And now I do have a disconnect. Hmm. That's weird. Um, I hope it fixes itself. <laughs> so is the stream back online? Not yet. Okay, let's see if we can get the stream connect again. Um, I don't know exactly what's happening right now. Um, so I just hope the the whole stream stabilizes itself. We should be back. Can you guys check if other streams are having issues right now? If not, um, I'll switch uh, Twitch servers or something. Alright. Um, yeah, a pretty interesting game. I didn't think that i heart could uh, make a comeback possible, but they did. But in the end, uh, just taking so much damage on the core early on. Um, okay, so other streams are going down as well. That sucks. Um, so maybe a possible server issue on Twitch side. Possibly DDoS, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, I'll check if they already started with a second draft. Nope, not yet. So we're all good. Yeah, I mean, they did take so much damage on the core in the, the um, first team wipe, which happened at, I think, level 16 or something, um, where they just overextended way too much and then, um, yeah, send out... I think Felsa was the only one left alive there, and, well, I mean, he could have at least prevented some damage, but he just... Uh, yeah, he tried to run out there and stop them early on, which didn't work out whatsoever. Alright, I'm in the lobby, so that's still working. Um, yeah, then managed to make the comeback happen just because my insanity overextended in trying to kill the core. I mean, they had two ca two heroes that were just way too low to still be in the uh, opponent's base. 
And yeah, uh, that didn't really work out uh, in the way they wanted whatsoever. Uh, wait, so you guys missed the ending of that game? Jeez! Um, okay, I'll just tell you what happened. Um, my insanity did go for a back door. And they had, I think, everyone back up except Vala. And they just, um, yeah, just put out all the damage they could on the... <laughs> as the stream died, my computer died. Um, they just put out all the damage they could on the core and took it out. Without any chance for I to hard to stop it. I mean, Felsep was there to defend, but the other guys were porting back as soon as they saw it, and it was just too late. I mean, as if they would have had Zeratul and Void Prison, they might have been able to stop it, but even then, I mean, with the core already being at 30%, it's just... That's just way too much damage, and especially with three heroes, um, three assassins on my insanity's part. That's... Um, that's way too much damage, way too much DPS to um, actually keep the core alive for a long enough time. Alright, so let me get that draft all set up, so we can get started on the next on the next match. Uh, by the way, the map is going to be Dragon Shire. And in the meantime, maybe we can have our admins telling us the schedule for tomorrow, for the playoffs. Alright, so that's working. I just need the graph. Good. Good, good. Okay, no draft yet. I'll try to capture the um some match highlights next game. To totally completely missed about that uh, in this previous game just because uh, of all the Twitch issues and whatever. Okay, so let's see if we can get uh, the schedule for tomorrow. I'm talking to the admins right now. Oh, well, the streamer and out after they took the bottom golem. Um, yeah, so they applied some pressure, actually um, took out the bottom keep, and then uh, they just returned and um, made a safe, uh, safe escape. And I think Shen was the first one out of my insanity to overextend by uh, chasing them down. And he was caught out of position. They saw that Arthas and Tyrael went up into the um, went up into the jungle. And well, he just tried to capitalize on that and um, just went way out of position. The remainder of the team was still far further back. And then Arthas and Tyrael came back out, stunned him, took him out in no time. And uh, I don't know who was the next one to fall. Probably Tychus. I think it was Tychus. Okay. Okay, so the schedule for um, the playoffs for the HPL tomorrow. Um, at least for Europe, it starts at 9 p.m. Central European time with the um, two semifinals, and it will be published later tonight. So watch out for that tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Alright, we're still waiting for the second draft. I don't know why they haven't started yet. We also only have a couple of players in the lobby right now. Mm, so I guess we'll take a short uh, commercial break and then we'll be right back with a draft. Stay tuned.
All right, fellas, we're back with game two between My Insanity and Eye to Heart. This time we have Eye to Heart with the first ban, and they went for Tychus. On My Insanity's um, part, we have Nova being banned, which is surprising. They used to go for Stitches always, um, but the meta keeps changing every week. And we're on Cursed Hollow again. Um, I'll have to ask the players if why that's happening. Maybe they can pick the same map again. I'm not too sure about that. Well, apparently they can. Okay, first pick um, going to Eye to Heart, and they went for Tassadar. Of course, if Abifer isn't banned, my insanity is going to pick him up, and also going for Fels that straight away. So they could be going for the uh, double shock and awe combo, uh, which is something that I to heart definitely has to watch out for, especially if they have a good stun to um, to complement it with. For example, if they have a noob, uh, you get the line stun and the two line shots. Um, okay, so it looks like the North American quarterfinals are happen happening tonight um, at 10 p.m. Central European time or 4 p.m. Eastern Standard. And then tomorrow we have the European semi-finals and the North American semi-finals starting at 9 p.m. Central European time. And on Sunday, uh, both of the championships are going to be played out uh, starting at 9 p.m. So keep 9 p.m. in mind and for tonight, 10 p.m. Uh, European time, that is. And they already have the brackets for the North American quarterfinals tonight. Alright, let's uh, continue with the draft though. Um, Tyriel and Ufa are the next, next pickups for Eye to Heart. Um, good idea that they picked up Tyriel once again. They did a good job with him in the last game. And of course I also like the Tassila pickup. I'm not too sure why they um, didn't ban Aberfur this game. We saw a ban out of Mind Sanity, I think, for Aberfur uh, in the last game. And I, I think Especially, um, well, I mean, it doesn't really matter. On any map, you should ban Abifer. Perhaps not so much on Haunted Mines, since uh, that's one of the faster, quicker maps where you don't really get to use Abifer all that much, and he could actually become a liability. Um, but other than that, you should always ban him, right now at least. But maybe that's changed again since when was the last time? Um, since Sunday. <laughs> Um, all right. Yeah, all of these games will be uploaded to YouTube. Um, so if you missed the uh, f like the final moments of the first game, you can find them on the probably on the Nexus uh, Nexus Champ YouTube page. If not, I will always upload them to my channel, and you can go check that out. I have the links up on my personal Twitch page, with the, which is twitchtv shock. Are you guys talking about the raffle? Yeah, initially I wanted to play as well and get to 20, but then all these casts came up, so I didn't have the time, and then I realized it's only a raffle. You don't really have a 100% chance to get in or get your friends in. So it wasn't really worth all that much. But apparently the invites are, get, uh, are going out now. Alright, and we have the next picks for my insanity. It's actually Illidan and Arphis. So counterpick on Arphis. They also counterpicked uh, Felstad from my to heart last game. Uh, and now they should be going for, for Brightwing, quite possibly. Um, Rega would also be an option, but I'm... I don't know, I, I think they should be going for Brightwing. Especially on Cursed Hollow, it, it's just so vital to uh, to have her on the team. Um, if you 
yeah, if you use the pushback ability as your ultimate. It's a nice way to just separate the teams and keep them from uh, getting the tribute. Right, the next pick fighter heart should be coming up, and it's a new Barak. And Valor. Valor mm, is a little bit surprising, but Anub is of course a solid pickup, given that long range initiation that currently my insanity is a little bit lacking. They could go for for Illidan, but uh, I don't know if that's the wise idea. A wise idea. Oh, Rhaegar is actually their final pickup. Okay, interesting. Most likely for Ancestral Healing then. Would not expect Bloodlust out of this composition, but you never know. I mean, sometimes they j just go for it nevertheless. Um, Illidan does have some um, okay-ish base damage, but I don't know. Usually you would see it um, if you have Tychus on the team um, or someone else with a really nice high base damage value. Um, Ramshi, I think the games are usually uploaded a day after, but I'll try to get it up as soon as possible. I'll actually prioritize it tonight, but I'm also casting the Arcana tournament afterwards, uh, starting at 8 on my uh, personal channel. So, uh, it will be, yeah, it will get pretty late tonight, and I don't know, I'll try to get it up, and it should be, should be available tomorrow morning. I'll do my best. Double Arphis? Double Arphis? You guys really think so? Double Arphis would be kind of weird out of Abathur. Uh, especially since they have... Uh, Rhaegar can be played a little bit on, on the sustain sustainable side. So I, I would doubt that they're gonna clone Arphis, but you never know. They could early on to give him a little bit of an edge uh, and a little bit better survivability. Because they were lacking that in, a, in the previous game. Brightwing is always good, that's true. But they didn't go for her. So let's see if they can make it happen with Rhaegar. Um, okay, why didn't my draft overlay not update? That's weird. Okay, there it is. Way too late anyways, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll get it fixed for the next time. Alright. Let's get started. We have this time around. Uh, nope, never mind. That was correct. Uh, we have in ten on the left side. Oh no, never mind. Wasn't correct. Uh, on the left side here, on Cursed Hollow once again. I too hard, and they have Tassida, Ufer, and Vala in the mid lane. In the top lane, we have Nubarak, and bot lane is taken by Tyrael. On the opposing side, in the red trunks, we have My Insanity, and they have Arphis in the top lane, Falstead in the mid lane, Illidan, and Abathur in the bot lane alongside Rhaegar. And looks like they want to capture the easy camp here straight away. Meanwhile, a, an Uther, uh, Uther Valor gang squad in the top lane. Uh, that's a little bit surprising, uh, not something you usually see, but I mean, uh, that could work out. Ufer has a decent stun, and especially if they go for the top lane with Grimskull already in position, and Nubarak um, just has a solid, solid stun as well. Stun that actually allows you to, um, to chase fleeing heroes. So that's a good combination. Get the initial stun in with Uther, do some damage with Valor and Uther, and then uh, have Nubarak try to get him on the chase. And they will get the first, uh, the first easy camp here. First, first mob goes down. But Aberfer and Kalidin also did a good job here. The giant uh, already on their way in the bot lane. And Aberfer, of course, just bolstering that push. Uh, 
Elson in the mid lane needs to watch out a little bit here with noise and gets into position, but uh, he should have seen him. Yeah, he did. So he knows he needs to play it a little bit safer. And wow, are Vala and Uther really going for the knights already? Wow, okay, uh, I mean, I think they can do it, but they need to play it a little bit safe. Oh, Tassel actually gets out of lane to help him out. I'm gonna lose a little bit of experience for that, but if they do get the knights without too much damage taken, uh, they should be in a good position. It looks like they can. Arkham uh, still has half his age health, so he should be in a good position. Ooh, Secret gets in there. He spots this, but I don't think he can capitalize on it. With only him and Abathurn is back. It's not gonna be enough, but ooh, maybe now with Felset helping out and Vala goes down. Arkham also in a lot of trouble. Green moves in, but it's way too late. Konus is still alive, and they will get Secret, but they did capture the Knights for them. Nice steal here on the Knights. I think that was even worth it. Uh, Secret was only down for a couple of seconds. Oh, never mind. Uh, it was mine. Uh, it was I too hard that um, captured the Knights. I was a little bit confused there for a sec. And now the Tribute is coming up. But that would have been a nice move by my insanity if they made that happen. Ooh, threats with the Disrupt. And ooh, really close for Efanu Barak with the deep dive getting out of there. And now they have three players here. Arkham in a little bit of trouble. There comes the stun. Double stun, actually. Feltz are doing a lot of damage on him, but it looks like he cannot get away. Nope. No, not with the secret there. He jumps up top. And Cone is also taking a lot of damage here. Regam even moves in to help him out. And Tassada is taken out. So this should be their tribute to take. Music, please? Is the music in the in-game music low? I'll, I'll switch it for next game. I don't want to show you guys the, uh, the menus right now. Ooh, Abathur and uh, Rega have to uh, work a little bit on the mid lane here. Ufer and Tessa did a good job pushing this. Towers are, one tower already went down, the gates are down as well. And Ufer and Vela are gearing up to take the box here. Bonus needs to watch out, needs to keep uh, Felset in lane. And two guys just going for that boss. That's a very specific strategy that Itohard is going for here. No, they're not gonna try it. <laughs> uh, they did see that the mine went in there for Abathur. He spotted everything. Even put a second mine up. So that's way too risky. Even with green there uh, in position. And now the knights are moving in the mid lane. So I think they need a couple guys here just to defend this mid lane. Mind Sanity all already one level ahead now. And this is a pretty solid push in coming here in the mid lane. And they already grabbed the first tribute, so they need to watch out for this next one. Oh, Konus caught out of position. Here comes Secret, doing a lot of damage. Konus does get out of there. Arkham a little bit of trouble out right there. Comes to stun on Secret, and he does get away. No one really going for the final commitment on that push, uh, on that uh, on that tribute. It's just a little bit of dancing around here. Green going for the shambling, but disrupting it himself. There comes the stun out of the new. We're getting secret stun and pretty low, but Grimstar also pretty low, and he goes down. Reds might be taken out. Felsa coming in from the back, getting a good shock and off, but Arkham doesn't quite fall, and they will get Freds here with a nice body block out of Konus. Noble also in trouble, but they're all pretty low. Um, I to heart needs to watch out. They have Konus back in there, but it uh, looks like they will have to forfeit this tribute. Yep, Araragi is going for it. Nope. Oh! Getting the final shot with the shock and awe. What an amazing move. Uh, Ace of Spades spotting for him there, of course. <laughs> what an amazing move. And they will get the tribute, of course. Uther will, uh, will die here pretty soon. Yep, and there he goes down. Wow, even trying to go for that steal with uh, Shinobo, uh, Grimskull moving in a little bit too late. So these sea giants will do a little bit of damage there. And Shinobo should even get away. The threat's in position. Yep, he will be fine. Well, let's see how much damage these sea giants will do in the top lane. Looks like Vala can take them out with 
too much damage being taken, but I mean the gate is already halfway down, so not too bad. And Noisen will have to port back after taking a little bit of damage there. So let's check out the talents. We already saw some of these ultimate in action. Divine Storm on Uther, uh, Judgment by Tyrael, Web Blast, ooh, Web Blast for Nubarak. Okay, that's interesting, you don't usually see that. Um, then we have Reign of Vengeance and Archon or Tassada. Ancestral Healing, like I said, for Rhaegar, Ultimate Evolution on Abathur, Metamorphosis on Illidan, um, Army of the Dead on Arthas and Shock and Awe for Fels. That we already saw that in action. Let's jump down the bot lane. Oh, another Shock and Awe coming in. And Secret trying to get the jump on Noisen. She might get away. Nope, not with his ultimate pop. Conus moves in there. It's a nice stun off, but Secret can escape for now. And Grim's got a little bit of trouble. He did trap. Uh, he did trap Illidan for a sec there, which might have saved Green's life, but he's still taking a lot of damage. Whoa, he's incredibly low right now, and he does go down in the end. Arkham also pretty low. He will fall here, but maybe can take out one more. Nope, doesn't look like it. My insanity just pushing through. They will get this keep for sure. Uh, only Bala and Tyria left alive, and they can stop this from going down. Uh, Grimstone back in the fight. Fresh actually a little bit out of position. They are really overextending, but ooh, another nice shock and awe. Shinobo really hitting those guys. And they will get out of it now. A red team has destroyed a fort. And the top and uh, the middle fort also went down. So that's three forts down and keep uh, one keep taken out as well. And we still have Aberfur in top lane doing a lot of damage here on the fort as well. I think this is gonna fall as well, since they don't have any ammo. Ooh, the curse is up, but that's so many minions, that should be enough. And they even went for the steal on the boss in the bot lane. It's gonna make its way towards that uh, towards that core already. Camp will be taken for eye to heart. Maybe they can make something happen, but they're four levels behind. That's just so much. And that's even though they had a nice uh, nice start in this game, but never uh, were never able to really make something happen. It's going to be another team fight, and my insanity really wants these team fights now, because they know okay, if, they, if we can take one or two warriors out, then everything will just crumble or I too hard. Boss already hitting away at the core. And they can just overextend as much as they want because they don't well, they barely take any damage. Shinobu will be taken out. Ooh, and Fred's in a little bit of trouble as well, but now that secret is moving in, it will do a little bit more damage. Okay, what the heck happened to the sound now? <laughs> okay. okay. Good healing coming out of um, coming out of Rhaegar, keeping Fred's alive. Arkham taking a lot of damage and now they will be able to focus on the core. And yeah, with three levels ahead, they will have to focus it out. Aragi is stunned one more time, but I don't think it matters in the end. Nope, the core does fall, and with that, my insanity wins, takes first spot in the rankings, I believe. We'll have to check. And it's mouse boards that will advance to the playoffs.